So I got everybody one to switch for $12 when I was over at PAX West at Gorilla Pink, Pink Gorilla Games. Sorry, I love this hat by the way so much, it's my favorite hat. Um, I got it anyways when I was at PAX West at their booth for $12. I figured $12, why not? The reviews are not that great, but I figured why not? It could be fun with some friends. Now, what I didn't know until my buddy James said something is that you played it with your phones. Even I had to play it with my phones. You connect your Joy-Cons, but for the most part, you use your phone for a lot of the games. Now, the first game that we played together with a couple other people, actually one other person because somebody didn't want to play with us, um, was you had to... I had to turn my light on. I, You had to take pictures, basically, and match the color of what it showed of the color you had to find something in your space that had the same color you had to try and match that color and whoever matched it the best got the most points it show me anything it shows me her uh, oh he hit square it all that, that's good that's good <laughs> my light wasn't on that's not even James fair just, like took a picture of the middle thing. it didn't tell I'm me i'd be taking pictures in my room Cotton candy. See, James didn't need my help. Here's the oh, scoop on our second shit. color. The time limit is I'm the sorry, same I'm as before. My... You know what? I'm, I'm taking a picture of my, my own shirt. I'm wearing a picture. I'm wearing a Kirby shirt. No, blame my dad. Blame my dad. Blame my dad. No, blame my dad. Oh, this is lame. <laughs> Your photo didn't go through. I lost connection in the middle of it. Oh, he lost. He lost. He lost connection okay. too. Well, at least, oh. at least, at least, you. Well, Dude, you're, I took you're a picture ahead. of the pink gorilla. Mary gold. What? This is our fabulous final color. Do I even have Ready, that color? Ready, snap. Have a look at your final photos. Don't, don't oh, question no. this picture I took. Okay? <laughs> look at mine. We'll Zero. No, how? Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? You got points for that? <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. <laughs> how was mine? <laughs> no. <laughs> also, why is there no head on that Ralph? <laughs> Now there was some really fun mini games in here, I will say, and I am looking forward to playing this more with them and playing some of the games that I haven't played yet on here. I will say for $12 this game was definitely worth the price because there's a lot of fun to be had with your friends, although the connection's kind of funky and it's hard to connect with your friends through the internet with your phones. It's kind of weird because you have to use a QR code and it's kind of hard if they're using their phones to find the QR code, scan the QR code, or go to this website to get logged in and I think that's kind of goofy but I think that's just the only way that you really can do it. Now, I wish that you could just type in a specific code that the leader can type in, kind of like those other Jackbox party games. Now, when it comes to Jackbox, you could just type in a code, they'd type in the code, and they'd be able to join. And it's so much easier than needing a QR code. That part of it kind of bothers me because it makes it so much more difficult for people to be able to join into your game. I think you should be able to just type in a code, then be able to type in the code and join. But anyways, the first game was just matching up colors with something in your room, and whoever got the color matched the best got the most points. Now, the next mini game that we had played was called UFOs. This one was hilarious i wish i would have actually physically filmed my camera because it was so dang funny i have clips as you'll see and stuff but what you won't see is our positioning because you had to do this with your phone physically and copy the aliens and do this and it was so silly to get the alien ship to kind of arrive and for the aliens to drop down and come close to the screen and I think they go back to their ship not 100% but basically you had to get the aliens to arrive and whichever team did it did it in sync perfectly the best was the winning team now this was kind of unfair since it was 2v1 but to be fair <laughs> it was still dumb fun I could see myself playing this game because there's quite a few mini games in here I could have a lot of fun with friends here playing this a few more times and playing this at my birthday party, like you name it. This is a game that for a cheap price, it is very worth your time and money to play with your friends. Now, if you don't have family or friends to play it with, definitely wouldn't recommend picking it up. But if you have people you can play this with, I for sure recommend that you check out Everybody 1-2 Switch. I think it's pretty fun. The mini games are cool. It's it's a good time. Do it in the rhythm. Let me down. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Let's go. You gotta follow them. I, I think. Here we go. <laughs> this is stupid. 
Like what signal? Down, up, down, up and down, or left and right? Going up and down. Up and down. Up and down. You're signaling aliens. Ah, ah, Oh, 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 I think they're actually like I'm really looking at you in stream and going so laggy. So I don't know if I'm doing it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Dang. Thank you for having me. See, Justin, oh you could have summoned the aliens with me. <laughs> <laughs> now, we meant to play four or five mini games, but after the third one, it was disconnected. I guess because my internet crashed. But it worked overall pretty well, the online. It, overall, it worked pretty well. And for me, that's a good sign because I have really terrible internet. But I will say, the next mini game that we played was Ninjas. This one was very dumb, I will say. Because the thing is, you have to use Joy-Cons for this one for the sword. Meaning that the main player's switch, the switch that's basically mine, I had to play for the other team when they had to use the sword. And that makes it unfair, because even though I was tr actually physically trying to do good for them, even though they're the wrong team, not my team, I still think that's really dumb that they can't use their phone just like this or something to swing the sword. At least to my knowledge, that's not how the game worked, which they should be able to do this, because the, you basically throw the throwing stars like this, and the person has to time the slices with the sword. And that mini game just wasn't all that great the way that it worked. Remember to give yourselves CG. enough space. I can do it. Get ready. I had to hear it. I don't pay attention to your stream. Oh, at the face. My turn. Oh, you just got in. Aha! Yes! Let's go! Did you get them all? Oh, yes! Wow. I got all five! Yeah! Oh. Time to change roles. I know I just did. Ninja on the right. Yeah. Ready your sword. When you're ready, press a button now I gotta on the be chest. The challenger, shake your sword. <laughs> I'm not doing that to this. Hey man, it's the Remember to give yourself enough space. <laughs> Get out. Too late. Oh shoot! I didn't mean to do that! Oh, How'd that happen? Wait a minute. Wait a wow. minute. Was GG? Wait a minute. No, no, no. Huh? I didn't mean oh, to. Oh, I swear. <laughs> I, I was. No. I was in battles to come. You were throwing them because it showed I that I could throw them too. There. Now, there's 16 total mini games in this game, and I think that's really cool because it gives longevity, gives me some more time to deep delve into it with friends. And it's just a good time every now and then. Is it better than the original one to switch? I don't know. I, I'm going to be honest, I never played the original 1-2 Switch because at launch it was $60 and it didn't seem to go down much in price for a long time, whereas everybody 1-2 Switch, I think, was a $30 title at launch. I want to say brand new because I did see it at Target for $30 brand new. So I think it's a $30 title and you can probably get it used for about $20, $15 to $20. And I think around that range, it's not so bad. I would say it's probably worth your time and worth your money if you have people to play with. If you don't have people to play with, it's not worth your time because you're just essentially wasting money because you're going to have a little bit of fun maybe by yourself if you can even play by yourself. I'm actually not sure. And I mean, that's about it. You know, I mean, it's not worth your time if you don't have people to play with. But if you have people to play with, it's fantastic. I can't wait to play this with more people that I have not played it with yet because it's like Jackbox. I have a group of people who will have a really really good time playing this game in the future let me tell you like it's gonna be an absolute blast and one of these groups you will 
see come my birthday because this is a game <laughs> this is a game i'm definitely gonna have fun with them but when it comes to the game and if you wanted to make the purchase or not or you always were unsure i mean this game came out i think last year or early this year it was a game that i never thought i would buy because i figured it's not worth your time it's not worth your money because it's not i heard it wasn't very good but for 12 bucks, I was like, hey, it's only $12, sure, I'll get it, you know, what the hey, and it's, it's, it's worth 12 bucks for sure. I could say it's worth 20 and under. I would say it's worth $20 and under. If you can find every, everybody one to switch for $20 and under, and you have people that you can play with this with, this with every now and then, I would say that it's absolutely worth your time, worth your money, and worth checking out. Now, Nintendo always makes these weird, funky kind of mini game type games they're not always worth it like i mean look at nintendo switch sports it's nothing like wii sports was wii sports was absolute magic the amount of replay value was absolutely insane yes they added golf they added basketball randomly to nintendo switch sports but it doesn't have the replay value that wii sports has i can go back to wii sports any day of the week and still have an absolute blast with that whereas switch sports kind of fell short and i hope that if they do another one of those games that they learn from their mistakes and they really give us the vibes of nintendo wii sports back that switch sports really just didn't have when it comes to mini game game games like one two switch it depends if you have people to play with it can be but there's fun to be had in any of these games really if you have people to play with but you gotta have that group of friends, you know? Whereas Wii Sports, I could play that by myself for hours. It was just, it just had that magic to it, you know? And not all these games these days have that kind of magic. And I hope that with Nintendo's next console that they can really bring back that magic of their sports style games or mini game style games that they had on the Wii era. And even on the Wii U at launch when they had Nintendo Land, that was a lot of fun and I mostly played that by myself and it was a really fun good game which Nintendo can you please bring that game back please I mean that was a really good game I'm just I'm just throwing it out there I'm just I'm just saying I'm just this little YouTube guy that doesn't know a whole lot I, I, ju I just like video games and uh Sure would be cool if you brought back Nintendo Land. I'm just saying it's a good game, you Nintendo. You know, it might sell some copies. Hmm? 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 No? Of course not. In all reality, they, they really could with the new console, but who knows? We don't know Nintendo's future. We really know nothing about Nintendo next year. My last video was about the Nintendo Switch 2. Be sure to check that out because I kind of talked about what's going on a little bit with Nintendo at the moment, where's the Switch 2, and uh, it was a lot that I talked about there, which I'm not going to talk about now because I talked about it in the previous video, so go check that out. But that being said, everybody won to Switch. What is your guys' thoughts about this game? Have you played it? If you have not played it, would you be willing to pay under $20 for it? For it? Is it worth it to you? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, if you enjoy this video, Feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, if you haven't already, because, I mean, we hit over 1K, I'm not monetized yet, maybe we'll get there eventually, uh, streaming I'm hoping is coming back soon, but I'm waiting on something to come in the mail related to that. So anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already, I think I already said that, I don't know, uh, doesn't matter, thanks so much for watching, see you guys next time, peace.